Hello and welcome back to Erner Berry's State of the Market. I'm Laura Zinger, host of the Market Digest podcast and head of Territory Sales. This week we are talking box beef with Gary Morrison, who is a vice president here at Erner Berry and covers several markets, but his heart truly lies in box <laughs> beef. So Gary, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Not a problem. Thanks for having me back, Laura. Cool. So let's see if we can't cover what's going on in about five minutes or less. Tell me what's happening in box beef world. And if you could, I would love to see it on Comtel because, you know, that's oh, just my favorite thing. I know, of course. So, I mean, the last time we talked, uh, the box beef world is decidedly different this time around. You know, as we passed Father's Day, um, peak grilling uh, demand passed as well. And that caused product to significantly correct uh, the markets in a sell off. And many items that were at record or near record levels um, are trying to find a bottom here. And it's been driven mainly by middle meats, your strip loins, your short loins, your ribeyes, um, and even your tenderloins now, um, because those are the typical uh, grilling items as we led into Father's Day. And that happened to be uh, coinciding with the reopening trade for many restaurants as well. Um, so they needed items to, to, to hit the menus. And they were kind of shocked when, uh, you know, they made a menu uh, 13 months later and it was, it was a lot more expensive. Um, so you could see as we got um, from the peak in 2021 uh, to where we are now, and it looks like the expectation that it's going to continue to correct uh, with the market fundamentals that we're seeing now. Um, but I do want to highlight one uh, specific item too. If you go into, if we go into our pricing sheet here um, on Comtel, and there were some alternate state cuts that ran up just as quickly. Um, when the three main steak items moved to record or near record levels. Uh, menu, you know, restaurateurs were looking for alternative cuts to, to provide value and a little bit of margin. Um, so that brought pretty much everything up in tandem. And if you can see here, flat meat is, is one such item. Um, we hit, you know, a record level um, over $10 a pound. Uh, that beat the previous mark um, from 2020 pretty significantly. But what I was really looking at is, you know, when we started the year at elevated prices on, on flat meat, we were about 10% above the three-year average. Uh, that widened to about 75% on the three-year average. And now it's corrected, you know, a good 30, 35% um, from that peak. It's It's been pretty swift. So so as you can see, you know, th you know flat meat and other, other thin meats that – um, were used as alternate state cuts, um, have corrected just as swiftly, and, and, and it looks like it's going to continue as well with the rest of the weakness in the market. So, uh, Laura, decidedly different tone. You know, I think um, food service operators uh, putting together menus in the near future will have prices uh, decidedly different than when um, we were heading right into the start of summer and, the, and everything was opening up, and it was extremely um, eye-opening. Uh, the inflation that they saw on some of their menu items. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that we, we might be able to see a little bit more variety where so many people have chose, uh, chosen to cut down the number of items that are available on their menus because it's just the most efficient way to do it without passing along too many costs to the consumer. So uh, this is really insightful. And of course, it, it brings me back to my Ernerberry boot camp where I was taught nothing cures high prices like high prices, right? So this, is, very, right. <laughs> this is good information. I love this chart too. It definitely took a little longer than, you know, some maybe have anticipated, but, you know, high prices did um, cure high prices. Awesome. Well, Gary, I know that it's after the fact, um, but happy Father's Day to you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk a little bit about box beef. I would actually love to do a, a couple more of these because box beef has just so much complexity to it. Um, but we appreciate your time as always. We appreciate having you having us. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Erner Berry State of the Market, where we cover a market in hopefully five minutes or less. This week, again, we were joined by Gary Morrison, Vice President here at Erner Berry. I'm Laura Zinger, host of the Markets Digest podcast and head of Territory Sales, and we hope you have a great day.